Felix here. There's a huge shift coming in the market that most people are unaware of. I'm going to explain it to you so by the end of this video, in a couple of minutes, you'll know what to do in the next coming months. So what happens at the end of every quarter? At the end of every quarter, the big funds, the mutual funds, have to rebalance their portfolio between stocks, bonds, commodities, whatever it is that they're buying. So when one asset class goes up a lot, stocks have gone up tremendously this quarter, then, well, what do they have to do? Well, they have to sell stocks and they have to buy bonds because their mandate might say 40% bonds, 60% stocks. By the end of the quarter, they'll be at, you know, 65% stocks and 35% bonds. So they have to make an adjustment. They have to take action. And that means selling. So real selling pressure kicks in here and that's that's real that's not made up goldman's are warning today that it might literally be five percent of those big mutual funds holdings and they are significant they're large uh, so at the end of the month you're going to see some serious selling pressure if this rally keeps going the way it, it, it looks at the moment so that's the one what well, first thing the second thing is that JP Morgan does an enormous trade at the end of every quarter called the collar trade. We've done videos on that in the past and explained it. And you, it's so big, you can see it. It's like $8 billion or something. And that also gets rolled into the next quarter. And that sucks the market towards the new price that they set. So you're gonna to wanna to watch for that. And I'll let you know what that is. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Otherwise you might not find out. Not everybody knows what a JP Morgan trade, collar trade looks like. So. We call this AI excitement and the markets are going up and the market doesn't believe the Fed. So we rallied today, which is brilliant. Um, but at some point, these overbought levels that we have, and we are really, really overbought. Um, this is the house of one of my favorite authors up there. P.G. Woodhouse, there we go. Um, you might know where I am <laughs> in London. Uh, so at some point, the top's gonna go off this and we're gonna come down a bit and that might not be the crash or the end of the world as some YouTube titles will then tell you uh, I might be guilty of that too but it'll be a correction it'll be profit taking and it'll be potentially have something to do with the end of June uh, because of what the big funds are going to do they're going to have to sell right so I'd watch out for that and 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 prepare and make sure you know what you're doing and if you are in tickets that have gone up tremendously then you know it might just be time to well think about maybe making some adjustments think about maybe realizing some profits and doing some reallocation yourself if you're in stocks that have gone up 20 30 percent do you want those to be your largest positions now if you think they're amazing businesses and they're going to keep growing tremendously then i i am a fan of let winners run but uh, you know it's, it's it's a call you you got to make and there's a video i put out a little while ago called uh, how to pick, pick 10x stocks and i'd recommend you watch that because it really walks you through the key metrics that I look at as a former banker, what margins, what numbers, and, and, and how to keep track of that. So check it out, I'll, I'll link to it here as well. Uh, there's also a free trading training that I'm running on Wednesday, so sign up for that. There's still about 600 spots or so available out of the thousand we made available. We will run out, we always run out. Uh, so make sure you sign up for that, grab your spot at felixfriends.org slash webinar and um, I'm going to go and get some dinner. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. Appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate you joining the channel.